it's frozen again. You're not frozen. Boy, have mercy. Can you hear me? Hey, hey, what's up? What's up, world? It's me, your girl. Hey, hey, world. This is your girl, Angela and Janaea. We are here to make an announcement. Do me a favor. Go ahead, like, share, and comment. That's right. Like, share, and comment. We're bringing to you an exclusive. Why? Because we love you. We're bringing to you exclusive and so listen you guys you know every time we try to do this every time we do something new everything that can go wrong go wrong but my friend girl janelle brown is here and she and i have been visiting the holy ghost and the holy ghost has visited us and so janelle and i at the same time in different states had uh different ideas janelle uh, had an idea to do a 30-day self-care challenge. I, at the same time, was thinking about, I think I should start a um, a self-care, I mean, a, a, a mastermind um, class. And so it is so amazing that in two states, God was dealing with two different people about the same thing, which is building, which is encouraging, which is motivating. So um, I'm hoping that Janelle can come back on because I don't want to do this without her. And, um, uh, because truly the 30 day, uh, challenge that we're getting ready to introduce to you guys was Janelle ideal. So, Hey, Cadelia, Hey, you guys do me a favor. Go ahead, like, share and comment, um, like, share and comment until my friend girl, Janelle Brown can connect with us. I want, I don't want to give out more information or any information yet until Janelle can be a part of the conversation. But again, it's Wednesday. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you for being a part. Um, thank you for your patience. And uh, we are excited about what God is going to do with this 30 day challenge. And I, I don't want to start into, Oh, I see she's here. I didn't want to start it without her. Um, uh, Janaea. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, girl, we can hear you. Tell the people okay, hi. Okay, praise the Lord, because I was like, <laughs> I got to get my iPad and put my earphones in because I can't hear nothing. Okay, tell the people hello. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. This is Janaya, and I am so excited about what me and Angela are about to do. I am too. So why Janelle is here? Oh, glory. I got to release my God. Go ahead, like, <laughs> share, and comment. Go ahead, like, share, and comment. Invite your sister girl. Invite your friends. Invite your auntie. You know what? We're not going to even be uh, sexist. You can invite your guy friend. I'm cause it's more than one person or one gender can use this. What do you think, G? You are, you right. Okay. You're right. See, I'm right. And so we, I was trying to explain to them that, um, you and I had similar ideas. You're in Texas. I'm here in Florida and God is dealing with both of us. He's dealing with me to start a masterclass and he was dealing with you to start your, um, 30 day, um, self care class. And yes. so I'm going to tell them as far as the masterclass, what I was thinking is about, you know, how you're trying to, um, um, take the cap off or a move to the next level. Right. And, but you get stagnant. You can't move any further. You're like, you're right there at the top, but you can't, you can't burst out. So the masterclass where we're offering is that you come together with like-minded people who's trying to do something in the same field, whether it be, be a creator, whether it be an author, whether it be a writer, whether it be entre entrepreneurs coming together to help each other reach their next level. Right. And so God was giving me that, and I created a flyer, uh, I think it was Monday, Sunday night. And Monday, I got a call from my friend and explained to them the, the call, friend. So basically, I called Angela and I was like, Angela, I have this idea. Well, actually, I was telling, I think it was Angela. I was like, I, um, I think I told Angela that I was considering doing a 30 day. Yes, it was Angela. I texted her, I think a couple days ago. And I was like, you know, I'm considering doing a 30 day self 
self-care, um, not even really self, well, yeah, like a 30-day um, self-care challenge. And I was telling her that I had saw this young lady about two years ago on TikTok. She did, um, it, hers was not necessarily with other people. It was just for herself. And I guess she was in a place in her life where she was maybe not feeling her best self. And so for, she committed to 30 days and she would record these reels of herself getting up every single day. She did her makeup, she did her hair and she got dressed and either she was staying in the house or she was going out somewhere, but she committed to 30 days of getting up, dressing up and choosing to show up for herself for 30 days. And that did so much for her morale. And oh my goodness, like she's just grown so much because of that. And so I was like, you know what? That's a real good idea because, huh, you know, life happens. Life, life. Life be life. And I like, like to, to say. say life be life. You know, and sometimes, you know, you're not always in a space where you feel you don't feel like getting up. You don't mm -hmm. feel like dressing up. You don't feel like doing your hair. You don't feel like doing your makeup. You might not put on your best clothes. You may go to the grocery store looking any old kind of way. And we shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. We should not do that. I truly believe the way that you carry yourself, the way that you present yourself when you go out of your front door is a reflection of how you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. If you show up as your best self and present your best self to others, they're going to take time and look at you like, okay, this is somebody who took thought and put effort into how they presented themselves before others. And you know, the saying goes, first impressions are everything. And truthfully, you just never know who you're going to meet now. In essence, you know, I was not necessarily doing it for that. It was just doing it for me. Some of us are, you know, are in different transitions in our life. For those of you that know me, you know, I had I, I had a lot happen um, the last portion of the year in my life. And so there was a lot of days, um, you know, that I just I just didn't feel like doing nothing. Mm -hmm. I would just lay in the bed. I was not motivated. Um, you know, a lot of transition. Then, you know, the death of my little sister. And I was just not motivated. But, you know, that doesn't do anything for you. That doesn't help you, you know. And so I was like, you know what? I don't want to just leave this to me. There's other people out there that's going through. There's other people out there who need that boost of encouragement, who need that lift to listen, girl, let's get up and let's get back out there. You know, let's let's show up um, as ourselves. So I was like, Angela, I think we need to have this um, 30 day challenge where we invite other women to be a part of it. We going to get dressed. We're going to get up in the morning. You pick the time. She chose seven o'clock. And I was like, listen, it don't matter because I'm in Texas. So, you know, I'm an hour behind. But I was like, if I have to get up at six o'clock at five o'clock, it does not matter. We're going to show up together. We're going to yes. get up every single morning. We're going to do our makeup. If you don't, if you're not a makeup person, do your skincare routine, put some lip gloss on, you know, brush your eye, something, wash your face, whatever. We're going to do our hair. And then we're going to have our outfit of the day. Okay, girl, what you wearing today? Oh, okay, that's what you... And we are going to get dressed. And we're going to post our look of the day to show that, you know, so we can all motivate and encourage each other. And it don't matter if you're going to go sit at the desk while you're working from home. It don't matter. It don't matter if you're going to Starbucks. It don't matter if you're going to Walmart. You're going to the library, to the grocery store. We got to get up, get dressed, and show up life Amen. does not stop because life happens so yeah we have to get up and get dressed and i hear you you might be saying um i don't wear makeup and what why do i gotta get up and make up um make my face up this is what we're saying okay we're not saying everybody make up we're not saying everybody life is to be glam but what we are saying is that you have to get up and show up Yes. So as Janelle was saying, sometimes you just need a accountability partner, you know, and sometimes even when you don't feel like it, I'm, I may be the only one. But if I don't feel like something, if I'm doing something with someone who I care about, someone who I love, I'm going to push past my issues, my lack of interest, just because I don't want to um, disappoint them. I don't want to let them down. And so in the midst of us doing this together, right, 
not only are we helping ourselves, but we're helping somebody else. We could have just did this uh, among the two of us, but that's not what God has called us to. Why? Because we both know that God has called us to our sisters. We both know God has called us to encourage, motivate, inspire. I know God has called me to help you reach your greater. And in the midst of you reaching your greater, I reach my greater. If I reach my greater, you reach your greater. We say this all the time. There are certain people that has my name on it, that God is using me, waiting on me to get up and get it together, waiting on me to um, get up, waiting on me to dress up, waiting on me to show up. So I can show you that you can do the same thing or vice versa. So here's what G Janelle do to me. Let me not be so common. Here's what Janelle do to me. She reminds me of uh, uh, a Mary and Elizabeth or uh, Elizabeth is in Mary. We're not saying one is greater than the other. I'm not saying I'm Mary and she's Elizabeth. She's not saying she's Mary and I'm Elizabeth. What we're saying is that we have common goals, common ground, and God has anointed us both to do some things. And in, in this even Though we're doing similar things, we're different, right? She has a personality. I have a personality. Some people are going to be drawn to her. Some people are going to be drawn to me. And so why not come and do it together? It's not about competition. It's not about competing against one another. It's about um, embracing one another, embracing one another's strength. And in the midst of us embracing one another, helping someone else. There's people who's watching Janelle that need what she has in her. There's people uh, uh, that look at the many talents that she has. She's a, she can sew. She's very creative. She make all the flyers. She, um, she, um, create, she just even created a journal, not knowing whether or not she want to talk about that at this time, but she's created a journal. This girl is so talented. And in the midst of this self care, right? In the midst of our self care, I believe it's going to strengthen us to go where God has called us to be. I believe this self care is not going to just help us personally, but it's going to help us in our business. Because when you heard her talk, she said that we was going to dress up, right? And see, we've created this thing, Janelle, we, Janelle created a Eventbrite where you can register. And we're going to tell you some criteria as far as doing this, because we don't want anybody to just say they want to do it today. We want people who really want to make a difference, who's really trying to do it different in 2023, who's really caught their second breath and, and ready to run, who's willing to endure to the end. And so, Janelle created some some criteria for us how I'm um, to be a part of this group, where to meet us at, and the, there's a reason why you have to be on camera, right? Because we can be saying we're doing something and ain't doing a thing. Yeah. So there's a reason why, right, G? There's a reason why you want them to show up. Yes. Tell them. So it's funny that you said, you know, about. Y'all, grandchildren are a blessing, but Lord have mercy, Jesus. <laughs> Patience, Lord. Anywho, um, so talk, you said- While you talk, G, let me give them the um, Eventbrite information, right? Okay. Um, okay, so give them the Eventbrite information. Tell them that they can go to, you know, Eventbrite first, and then we'll go from there. Okay, let me see. You want me to, you're going to put it in the comments or do you want me to? Okay. No, we're going to put it in there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so Angela mentioned um, that, you know, we considering ourselves to be Mary and Elizabeth and, you know, not consider, you know, saying, but I get that because my, my cousin, one of my first cousins, she liked my, and we call each other all the time. We say Mary Elizabeth. We like, we don't know who is who, but we just know that we are Mary Elizabeth and that our destinies are intertwined. And so, Mary Elizabeth, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Um, and you know, and people and God puts people in your journey sometimes to serve as you know your Mary Elizabeth because you need people who are destiny helpers, you need people to help push you, you need people to help motivate you. And so, you know, both Angela and myself, you know, we do that for one another. You know, I love the fact that, you know, in spite of whatever challenges that she sees, in spite of whether she feels like she's succeeding or failing, I love the fact that Angela, you know, we are a lot of light, you know, in where we, we don't quit. 
we might be like, all right, Lord, we this age and this age bracket and certain things haven't happened in this amount of time. But one thing about us is that we are not going to quit and we're going to continue to show up and do whatever it is that we believe God has called us to do, whether the people show up, whether the people don't show up, you know, and so I love that about Angela. Um, so one of the things that she did mention, you know, we do want, you know, we, this, this, this whole challenge and the group of ladies that's gonna, you know, join this, we do want to hold each other accountable because it's easy to come on, you know, and be a part, like, you know, a lot of us, you know, um, during the pandemic started attending church via zoom and some people have their cameras on, some people don't have their cameras on. And I can, you know, speak for myself. Sometimes, you know, when you're not actively and you don't have your camera on, you busy, doing everything else, mm -hmm. you know, walking around or going to the other or whatever you, you're, you're not actively participating, um, in the service. And so we want those who want to be a part of this to be active participants. Matter of fact, you know, we're actually making it a requirement and, you know, because like I said, we want to hold each other accountable. We want to make sure that you are taking this serious because, you know, we're me. Now, even if it's just me and Angela, we're going to show up for those 30 days and we're going to motivate and encourage um, one another. But for those who do want, you know, to participate, we want to know that you're taking this as serious as we are because we're serious about this thing. Because I, you know, remember Angela sent me a text message and, um, and I think she had posted it on social media as well. I want to say maybe it was last week, but she was, you know, in a space where she didn't feel like doing nothing and so what she did she got up she got dressed and she went out you know i think you what you went to the park or something and something she did and so this is the whole point of it is that we want to help each other because we all sometimes have are in that headspace mm -hmm. where we just don't, we just don't feel like it especially when you work from home it's nothing to just roll out of bed put your pajamas on maybe not even brush your teeth and go <laughs> sit behind the computer. Or if you're in a stage where you only work a couple of days a week, it's easy to do that. But what does that do? Especially if you in a place where, you know, you already broken, you're already hurting or, you know, you like just in a transition and you're not feeling your best self. To me, self-care is doing your hair, brushing your teeth. Self-care is getting dressed up and not just throwing on some sweats because that's easy to do. No, taking the time out to pick your outfit out to make sure that you look good. Because guess what? When you do that, you feel good about yourself. So Yeah, yes, my mom is, used to always tell us that. She say, just because you don't feel good don't mean you have you don't have to look good. And so okay. when we get up and we dress up, we feel better. It changed our whole atmosphere. It does. And not only that, attitude. when we get up, get dressed, and get out of the house, we we don't even realize we the person that we were when we was in the house. You yes. know, because we become a whole total different person. So yeah, get up and get dressed. And that's the name of our show. This is the name of our our our, our um course. Um get up, get dressed, and show up. Go ahead, D G. I just wanted to jump in there, but it does make a difference when you get up and show up. It does. It makes a huge difference. And so we want you every single morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to get on this, um, you know, Zoom or however we choose to do it. More than likely Zoom. And we're going to have our cameras on and we're going to, you know, worship, um, you know, together. We're going to have our worship music going. We're going to encourage each other. We're going to pray for one another. We, Like I said, either we're going to do our makeup. It, makeup is not your thing. You can, you know, Clean your face, do your skin, your skincare routine, put some lip gloss on, brush your eyebrows, put some mascara on, whatever the case may be. And then, you know, you're going to fix your hair. We're going to show each other what it is that we are wearing for the day. And after the Zoom is done with, we are responsible for posting a selfie with our look of the day. So that we can in turn go and write words of encouragement. Oh girl, you look good today. Oh, I like that outfit. So that we can encourage one another. Like, do you know what that would do for someone's morale who has not been in a good headspace to have that sisterhood, to have somebody to come and encourage them and say, girl, you look good. Especially when maybe you have not been operating in the best form of self-esteem. Maybe you're, self, maybe you're in a place where your self-esteem is low. This is for you. This is our form of self-care for ourselves. We have to show up. 
for we have to show up as our best selves. One of the things I put in the description on the event, right event, um, is that we are children of the most high God. That's the right. God that we serve is the king of kings. He's talking about us. King of kings. Hallelujah. Capital K, lowercase K. We walk in kingship. And if you ever notice a king's kids, they just don't show up Come any on. Old type of way. When Come you on. see Prince Harry, when you see Megan, when you see um I forgot what's um Prince Charles. Harry, I mean Charles, what's his wife's name? Um Kate. Kate. When you see them, they don't just show up any kind of way. They show up. And they are the talk of the town, people talking about what they wearing, how they look, and this and that. So if we are a king, if we are a child of royalty, why are we showing up any kind of way? We supposed wow. to show up as royalty too. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so we have to learn to and sometimes it's just a re, you know, programming of the mind. You know, sometimes, you know, we forget that Psalm 139, 14, I was fearfully and wonderfully created in the image of God. Hallelujah. We were created in the image of our heavenly father. Hallelujah. And so when you know who you are, you show up as who you are. Hallelujah. I might not have a million dollars in the bank account yet, but guess what? When I show up on the scene, people can't tell the difference. Amen. And you know what? Even, even in that, it's not... It's not about um, us trying to floss. It's not tr us trying to be glamour, but it is about us stepping up and being who God has created us to be, which is great, right? And so I hope what you're hearing in this is for us, we're building a community. We're building a community of sisters who's not trying to be better or who don't look down on one another, but know that we're e on equal playing field. We're all coming to, uh, again, like I say, to reach our greater, to do better. And I hope you heard what she says that we're going to pray with you, right? We're going to pray together. We're not just going to get on here and do no makeup. No, this is work. In the midst of Amen. us doing the outer work, we're going to do the inner work too. We're going to pray with you. We're going to have affirmation, okay? So we're speaking into your life. Not only we, you, we're we speaking into your life, we're speaking into each other life. Mm -hmm. In that we journal, right? We're writing down those things that God is talking to us because if you was called by God, you be a part of this, surely he has called you to something. And so in the midst of this, I believe that he is going to open up our mind to be creative. I believe he's going to allow us to... Um, um, expand our pattern as far as the way we think and yes. break some habits, right? This is why it's 30 days. Some people say 21 days. Some people say uh, 60 some days, but nevertheless, if you do something for 30 days consistent, you're <laughs> yes. going to break a habit. You're going to start something different. And so this is what we want to do. You don't even understand. Sometimes uh, you might have been that person that showed up and now you don't show up. I used to show up a lot. I was smaller now. Sometimes because of my thickness, I, I'm not so keen to get up and dress up. I show up when I have to. But those days when I can get away with just laying in the bed and doing absolutely nothing, I do that. And here's my husband constantly telling me, Angela, get up. I'm sure, let's go. Let's take a picture. I'm like, oh, I'm too thick. I'm too fat. Those hiccups, those hang ups that the enemy is trying to make me um, not get up and do what God has called me to do, not get up and do my fashion. Those things are be, will be broken in these 30 days. I believe mm -hmm. those things will be broken in these 30 days. These things will be broken in these 30 days. And so that's what we're going to do for each other. We're going to breathe life back into one another. We're going to um, strengthen our muscles, all right? And we're going to be each other coach. We're going to be each other trainer. And listen, you can't go wrong when you have trainers that want the best for you. No, we're not trying to show out. This is why it's not even going to be public. This is going to be a private um, thing. This is why you have to register. Everybody can't pop in and pop out. You don't have to be concerned about somebody seeing you in your in your less because some people don't even come on camera without makeup. Okay. Some people don't come on camera without their wig. And so you don't have to be concerned about who is seeing you because we're creating a private safe haven mm -hmm. so we can come in the midst of our guards being down 
we can be strengthened. We can be vulnerable, right? You can be vulnerable. And in the midst of being vulnerable, you will gain your strength. And again, it's private. If we said seven o'clock because we feel like most people go to work at nine, but Hey, we are, we are, um, committed. If we need to start it at six, my time at five o'clock, her time, According to if that is seven o'clock is not good for a lot of people that wants to be a part of this, we're willing to sacrifice. And you know, for me, you know, this got to be a God thing because I get up for prayer at our five thirty prayer, and it's it's five days a week. I don't get up but about two three days because I be needing my sleep. But nevertheless, if God is calling us to this, we're gonna do this. If you're ready, go and register to Eventbrite and come excited. Come excited about change come excited about a shift in your mind i'm even excited because janelle does makeup like uh she don't charge for it anymore but she's a makeup artist honey so when she do her makeup i'm gonna get some tips okay i'm gonna get some tips so if you don't know about makeup you're gonna learn some tips because as we watch each other we'll teach one another okay yeah. and, and if, if you don't know how to do your hair we'll share different things about how you can do your hair i'm a makeup i'm a um licensed cosmetology for over 35 years so you'll get some tips from that i love fashion god has taught me to teach you your colors what goes well with your complexion what um what style were you an a line or are you a a, 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 a a hr what kind of clothes that you need to wear so you can enhance your body and do the best you're going to learn all of these things and then we believe this here is going to also take you men as well that's right men as well because men need this too um uh, we're going to be able to take you if you're a creator to help you do what creative, you're going to be able to create content. And even if you're not a creator, right at this point, it'll help you go into that. If that's what you want to do, but you're going to have to pay for that. You're going to pay for that next section, right? Even yes. though God is allowing us to share with you right now, how many know that he said your gift will make room for you. Right. And so I believe Janelle and I have something to offer. And I, I'm I'm excited for you to um, go to event, Brad. Go ahead, Janelle, because you know the Holy Ghost in, in the midst of the preaching <laughs> and jump on in there. So you're you going to slide on in there, G. <laughs> okay, so one thing I did want to add is, so the live, uh, well, not live, but the Zoom is going to be Monday through Friday. Now, you are still responsible and we are holding you accountable to still get up, get dressed and show up on the weekends. And so when we are not on our Zoom calls Monday through Friday, you will be responsible to get your whatever device, record yourself. This is so-and-so and -so, and today's date is because it's all about accountability. We want to make sure that you're taking this serious. So you're going to record Saturday and Sunday, just a little video. Hey, this is Janaea. Today is Saturday, whatever, whatever. And this is my, you know, my, my look of the day. This is my Saturday check-in. This is my Sunday check-in. And you are still responsible and required to post your selfie, your look of the day inside of the group. Because again, we want to take this thing serious. Like I said, it does not matter if you getting up to go check the mailbox, beat your face, hallelujah, slay your face and go walk to the mailbox and check your mail. Um, uh, take a drive around the block, go to the park, something, go to the grocery store, go to the Starbucks pharmacy, Starbucks, something. We have to really and truly learn how to take care of ourselves. And listen, life is hard. As humans, and y'all know, as women, we go through a lot as well. Life is hard as humans, but life is also hard as women. And so, you know, this is Angela and I's way of pouring back. While we are pouring into ourselves and each other, we want to pour back into others as well. Because listen, I know what it's like. To be paralyzed by life, paralyzed by fear, and allowing that to kind of keep me in a space where I don't feel like it. I don't want to, because like, 
Hold on, G. Let me just do this. I just got to quicken in my holy in my holy ghost. Ah. We said that this was going to be for men and women. No, this can't be for men and women at the same time yeah, because there are some women who would be uncomfortable with men seeing them in their vulnerability. So what we have to do, I have two great men. I have my brother-in-law, Woody. I mean, my brother-in-law, Clive O'Brien, and my husband, Woody, who can offer you guys the same or similar, but you can't be in our same group. We would have to create something um, totally different for you guys. It can go par parallel. It can go at the same time. But it cannot be in the same group because we'll be violating those women who want to um, show their vulnerability or, you know, even sometimes some people, husband may not be comfortable with them um, getting dressed in front of someone, whether it be just their um, face uh, routine or whatever. So we're going to have to do it different. But if you're a man and you want to do this, um, inbox me, uh, inbox um, Janelle and inbox me because Janelle is single. Inbox me because I'm married and I let Woody take care of it because Woody and I have the same password. So you can inbox me, uh, me and Woody and Woody can set something up for you guys, but we cannot allow it to go um, parallel. The Holy Ghost said that's, that that can't be. So we can't do that. Um, also, um, yeah, G, we can't do that one. Oh, no. oh, I just thought it was gonna be for the women anyway. Yeah, we were gonna uh -huh. open it up to the men, but I, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Space. So, men, it is available to you, just not in our group session. Yeah, just this not is for, this is for the ladies only. This is this is. This is a women's ministry. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and it's Monday through Friday. And I wanted to tell you, too, just because, say you say, well, I'm not good at um, taking pictures. I'm not good at video. You can learn to prop your phone up on something, press the button and tag. Or um, you can get a friend, you can get a stranger, somebody at the grocery store. Can you do me a favor and take a picture for me? Don't let that be an excuse. Don't let anything be a Get Excuse. a bottle of ketchup, uh, find a, a, a milk gallon, put your phone on the counter with, and let the milk gallon or whatever hold it up. Flip the um, camera. camera. It's the camera with two arrows going this way. That's how you know you flip the camera towards yourself. And mo majority of your phone, but it's 2023, you should have a timer where you can time yourself. And get your picture in. This is not the group for those that's going to come with any types it's, of excuses. excuses. This is the challenge for those that really and truly want to see a change. Because, listen, when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, you sick and tired. nothing going to hold you back. There's right. no excuse that's going to stop you. You know, I, um, so you, you, you make a way and you make time for what you want to make time for. You show up for what you want to show up for. I was like, Lord, I... And I was excited for the live all day, but when it was time to start getting dressed for the thing, even though I ain't do no face full of makeup, I just kind of a little under eye and just a little, you know, and made sure my hair wasn't sticking up. But I was like, Lord, I really don't feel, I was like, I, I'm like, I don't know why when it come to wanting to go live, I just don't be feeling like it. Uh -huh. But guess what? <laughs> This is not about how I feel. This is something that I'm passionate about. This is something that I want to do. And so I'm going to show up. Hallelujah. That's right. Because no excuses. No excuses. Um, they Janelle, my twin Janelle Lewis is on, on here. She said, "When does it start? It starts February first, right? February first, uh, February first, second to March the second. Ha! Okay. We're gonna put somebody to put that in the uh, capture for those who watch late. It starts February first to um, March the second. Now we did say seven. Now, if you really want to be a part of it, the majority rule, we're yes. willing to change it. So let us know if you want us to go to six o'clock instead of seven o'clock." We're willing to do that. We're willing to change that for you. You must go on Eventbrite to um, register. You must go on in Eventbrite. Don't inbox us saying, oh, I want to be a part of it. Don't inbox Janelle. Don't inbox me because we're going to tell you, you got to go to Eventbrite. And here's the thing. We know things happen, right? But when we also know that we'll do what we want to do, right? Whether it be somebody say, oh, I ain't got the money. But if it's something that you really want to do, you come up with the money, right? If it's somewhere you want to go, you really show up. You make a way to move, maneuver some things and you get there. This class is five days a week. If you miss two class consistent, you ain't in the hospital, nobody ain't died then we know that you really don't want to do that. You can't just pop on here sporadically, all right? You can't do that. And another reason why, I'm going to tell you that again, two days consistent, cons consistently, you cannot. We will just 
unshare the link. We'll change the link and unshare it with you. And you cannot share the link with anyone because if they haven't started from day one, they can't pop in. They got to wait till the next 30 days that God offer this. Okay. You can't just jump in and 10 days or five days. No, you got to be in it for the long haul. You got to be from the beginning to the end. This is why we're letting you know now, because you have more than a time, more than enough time to get yourself started. For February 14th. I already think about it. I ain't got no 30 outfit. I mean, February 1st. I was like, I ain't even got no 30 outfit. But nevertheless, you got time to get yourself together. You Listen, got time to recycle. Show. Hello, you can recycle stuff. It's different shirt, different pants, or, or, or whatever the case may be. Because I, I gave away a lot of stuff when I've been moving and in trans, transition. So I don't even know if I have 30 days worth or whatever. But guess what? I'm going to make it work. And we're also going to talk to you about your undergarment because some people need to be sized. So I'm going to help you with that. We can size you to make sure you have two boobs and not four. Okay. To make sure that you're not protruding out your clothes. We're going to teach you all those things. We're going to teach you not, you're not going to teach us, but you're going to learn through that. You're going to also learn that we ain't putting black eyeliners around our lips. We're going to learn different things um, to reach us to our greater. We're going to move forward okay so you're going to learn so much in this and in the midst of this you may be able to help your girlfriend out who didn't okay. join you may want to you know just people seeing you change they'll be like what's different about you it'll make them change amen listen each one teach reach one. one each one reach one because the whole the whole point of this is the science I am alive. Your mom is in there. Please go talk to your mama. Thank you. Close my door. Why is she doing that? Remember, it's free. <laughs> free ninety nine. Free ninety nine. Free ninety nine. Give me an F. F. Give me an R. R. Give me an E. E. Give me an E. E. Free. So you have no excuse. Cause <laughs> <laughs> you have no excuse. It's free. Yes. And so, okay, what was I saying? Lord, design my grandchild on distracted me. Um, I don't forgot. What was I saying, Angela? I don't know. We were too busy cutting up about it being oh, free. Oh, I know what I was saying. Okay. The word of God says, I believe it's in first Corinthians. I, I, um, I, I, know, I think it's in first. If it's not first Corinthians, it's definitely second Corinthians, but it says that we are in the same way that we are encouraged. We go and encourage somebody else. So, we have gone through or maybe still going through, um, you know, a specific season or a journey in life. Because, you know, when you in transition, that's not always an easy season when mm -hmm. you're in transition. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, listen, while we are in our headspace of transitioning, waiting for God to take us to, you know, our greater, that don't mean, hallelujah, as I'm being encouraged, as the Holy Spirit is encouraging me, hallelujah, to listen. Because there was the Holy Spirit who would put the thought in my mind to say, you know what, let me do this um, 30 days of showing up because that thought had to come because clearly the Lord see that, okay, she's not, you need to get out of this. You need to start, you know, showing up. You need to start, like, it don't even matter. Just start, get, get up and get dressed. So that you don't stay in this place. Because the longer you stay some, the longer you stay in a particular place, whether it's good or bad, that's going to become your norm and that's going to mm -hmm. become your habit. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we don't want to form bad habits, especially as people who are in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We should always be going from faith to faith and from glory to glory. And so as I am being encouraged to get get up, get dressed, and show up for myself, I'm encouraging others to do the same thing because one thing I have learned is that it is so like we need each other. Amen. We need each other. People are hurting. People are broken and good friends, people to love you, people to check up on you, people to remind you and let you know that you matter. It does a world of a difference in somebody's life. Amen. And so, you know, I it, losing my younger sister and how everything happened so fast. I mean, y'all, a lot of you all don't necessarily know the story, but, um, you know, it, it all happened in a span of two and a half months. She felt a, a, a lump under her breast, went, went to the doctor. Doctor told her she had the most aggressive form of breast cancer within a span of two and a half months. We don't... 
And then she lost her battle. I mean, we, and we was praying and we was believing and we was just like, well, she going to be the one that's going to live to tell about it. She going to be the one that's going to have a powerful testimony. And no matter how much faith we had, no matter how much we rallied together to pray, you know, God had other plans. But during that, that in that space of time, whoo, Lord have mercy. It, I, I, I was like, it, it really did something to my mental. I started to battle with anxiety again and having those good, solid friendships, those the group of women to Angela texting me, G, you good? You okay? You know, whatever, having friends like, listen, if you need to call me, you want to just sit on the phone, you know, having friends, listen, come stay over at the house. I just want to make sure, you know, you good, you know, Valonique, you know, texting me, um, you know, or calling me, you know, every day, like you need, you need that. You need people that's going to show up for you when you can't show up for yourself. My God, you need that. And mm -hmm. so the same way that I had a group of people, even my baby, I can't even count my baby out, you know, even my, you know, even my baby in her own grieving and her own, you know, going through whatever, because, you know, she experienced loss as well on her, her dad's side of the family. And so, you know, she's been through a lot. So just her, you know, making sure like, you know, mommy, you good? You know, mommy, are you okay? You know, you need people to show up for you. It matters when you are going through. And so that is why, like, I'm getting emotion. That's why I'm like, that's why I say you is participation is required because this thing is real. This is a ministry. You need people to love you back to life. You need people to encourage you back to life. You need people to motivate you back to life because people out here for real want to take their life. I was telling Angela when I, one time I just had a moment and I just broke down in her shop and she loved on me. And she just held me and hugged me and she prayed for me because I was like, God, what's the what, what's the what's the point in this? all, God, you know, who going to heaven. Why don't you just take us all? Lord? Let, That's why, what she why, said. Why, why, I'm like, why, why we got to go through all this? You mm -hmm. already know who going to heaven. What, what's the point, Lord? And that was the head space that I was in. I didn't want to live. I, I didn't want to not to say I didn't want to live, but I didn't want to look to. I didn't want to live to look forward to nothing because I'm like, it's all going to end anyway. What's the point? What's the point in looking forward to marriage? Mm -hmm. What's the point in looking forward to this? It's like I was losing my hope. Mm. But little by little, hallelujah, I refused to stay in that space because I'm like, she refused to stay in that space. Somebody probably called her, but nevertheless, okay, she. Okay, there we go. My, okay, my, there you my, go. You refused okay, to stay my, in that my space. My alarm was going off. You can refuse you to stand in that space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you still see me? Okay. Cause I was like, I can't see myself, but as long as you can see me, um, you know, and I refuse to stay in that space and, um, yeah. And even, you know, my friends, you know, just, um, you know, my, my, my friend pastor Angela was like, now that's the second time I don't heard you say that. She was like, don't say that. No say more. That no more. <laughs> <laughs> and even, uh, uh oh, let me, uh, okay, I just like I touched something. Um, and even my friend Karen, you know, like I was so, y'all, I was so the fear of death and all this other kind of stuff after my sister passed away, just so much anxiety. I wasn't even gonna fly to California to go to her funeral. That's how much anxiety had me. And my friend was like, Janaea, now if this is, you know, if this is the Holy Spirit, you know, then and you feel, you know, led not to go, but. She said, I have a feeling that this is anxiety talking and she got the word of God and she just began to minister to me through the word. And as she was ministering to me through the word, I knew that I was allowing anxiety to speak for me. And I was like, I'm not going to live my life like this. I refuse to live my life like this. And so we need people that's going to encourage us back to life. That's going to minister to us back to life. That's going to pray us back to life. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so that's why, like, you got to show up. You got to show up. Participation is mandatory because we serious about this thing. Somebody's life might be um, changed. Somebody's life might be saved because of this things. You, some people, you know, think, oh, you know, this person's strong. They seem like they always. The, the, the strongest of us need people need a village mm -hmm. hallelujah so that's what we want to be for those of you that want to choose 
to register for this event. Yeah, and don't take it lightly. You know, yeah. don't take it lightly as far as God is using us to show up and do uh, a makeup ritual or routine or a facial cleansing routine or dressing up. Don't take it lightly what God is going to do in the midst of this. You know, when you come, come with a mindset as well. This is going to shift. This is going to make me show up for my greater. And some of us need a change. We need to start showing up. We need um, to build a community. Some people feel like they're so alone. They don't have anybody or you know, they don't have anybody to turn to. You don't have to say that now. No, you may not know everybody in the group, but once you get in the group, get in the group knowing that you're starting a community, you're building you a foundation of someone to stand with you, to uh, um, girdle you up, you know, and in that also what we don't understand is that life is short. And if we keep thinking one day we're going to get it together and we never get it together, then it's too late. But this is the time we can get it together. And that's what I hear Janelle saying is that, you know, she thought she had time. Her her sister might have thought she had time, but we, we don't know how long we are going to be on this earth. But I do know God has called us for greater. I do know that there is a purpose that he formed us in our mother's womb. I do know he don't want us to be slowful. I do know he don't want us to be lazy. I do know he he see us as royalty, right? And so we have to do like Janelle say, show up in royalty, show up in royalty, show up as royalty. And as we witness with our life, not with our words, we'll be able to encourage somebody else. We'll be able to um, strengthen someone else, right? Because sometimes we don't even know who's watching us. And when we're not doing what we called, we're called to do, we hinder others from running. We hinder others from doing what they have called, what they have called to do. So I want you to make sure you head on over tonight um, to Eventbrite and make sure you register because we start February 1st. And if seven o'clock is not good for the majority, we'll change it. We're willing to change it to the six. And before you register, if you can't commit to 30 days, this, this is not for you. Amen. If you can't commit to 30 days, then this is not for you. In that, I told you we're going to work on the building the spirit, spirit man, the mental mind, and the, your emotion, and some as your physical. Because even Janelle and I was talking about as far as getting up exercises. Sometimes when you get up in the morning, <laughs> it makes you want to keep running. And not only that, you don't have to get up and put on stilettos every day, but you can put on a nice jogging suit and some matching sneakers. You can put on something that looked like you took your time to get yourself together. And not yes, because you can look like money in a sweatsuit or a jogging suit. You right. absolutely can. Right. And so I think that's about it. Head on over to Eventbrite. Uh, it starts February 1st. It goes to March 2nd. Um, this event is free. These 30-day self-care challenge is free. Um, come ready with your your light, your camera. Um, bring your journal for God start jotting some things to you. We got a journal that's going to be available to you coming soon. I don't want to share her information without her. But, you know, just come ready um, for God to breathe life into you. G, you got any closing remark? Um, I was going to say, yeah, because we'll talk about the um journal because that's actually going to release after we have started the, the 30 live. days. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And so we'll talk about that Um, on, I think, because I'm scheduled February 6th, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yes, I'm scheduled February scheduled for February sixth. But no, yes, it is important. It's going right? to be February 5th or the 7th because the February oh. 6th is, um, Morgan, every mommy and me Monday. Oh, okay, first. yes, that's right. That's so, the first Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So we, okay. but with that being said, I'm going to be on seven days straight in the month of February. Mm -hmm. um, the first week of February, I'm going to come seven days straight. So I will be on in the morning at with us, with the um, self-care then I will be on in the evening um, with uh, whatever God want me to do. He wanted me to start February off with love. As, and so love as for sisterhood, love as for it's just whatever in general. It's Black History Month. So I'm going to be on at 7 p.m. for seven days on um, doing life with Angela. Uh, yeah, 7 p.m., seven days. And so then I'm going to be on 30 days. Oh, my God. Don't get tired of me because I'm going to show up. We're going to be 30 days on that private page, our private Zoom, private link, but it's private. So you won't be able to sneak in. You won't be able to get a peek in. You got to sign up to get this, okay, because God has some jewels and some, um, some gems that he's going to drop in on us with. And who knows what the other people who's 
connected to us has to offer. Now, if you're perfect, this may not be for you. If you you don't you don't have no shortcomings that you need to overcome, okay. then this just this not for you. If you show up and you dress up every day and you don't have no hiccups in life, then this not for you. But if you need someone to um agree with you, the word said what two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst. So if you need someone to um encourage you or to be encouraging encouraging for you and vice versa, then this is for you. So yeah, show up. Okay. And, oh, and I also, I wanted to, cause I'm like, wait a minute, I can't, and, cause I wanted to shout out my good sis Tab as well, who was checking on you girl and my good friend Sherry as well. These ladies, um, you know, consistently were, you know, showing up for me, um, during the, you know, stages of me, you know, going through my grieving process. And also to like Angela said, listen, it's, I think it's imperative to journal this, journey to to document what is going on you know during the 30-day challenge because you may start your first day of journal might be like okay you know today is day one and i'm feeling you know i really don't feel like but because i committed i'm gonna get up get dressed and i'm gonna show up and then maybe by week two you might be like okay i'm ready i'm excited i feel like then by week three and so i think it's very important to document each, you know, the journey through these the 30 days so that you can see how you've grown, how you've mentally grown, how you've emotionally grown, how you've spiritually grown. So, yes, I agree. And I'm going to update the event right to say that bring get your journals um, ready because you should definitely document this journey so that you can see how much you have grown. We have Okay, that was my alarm going off trying to tell me go live with Angela. <laughs> like we already been live for almost. Hours. Okay. But, uh, but um, but yes, it, it's it's important to to document so that you can see how far you've come. You can see, you know, that you were in the, feeling this one particular way, and then you can boast and brag on like, wow, God, look what you did for me through these 30 days. Look how I've healed. Look how I've transformed. Look how my mind has shifted. Maybe you might be starting out this class and you've been somebody who's always struggled with self-esteem issues. Maybe you've not been the person that is used to showing up, you know, as yourself. Because like Angela, you know, me and Angela, like, we were like, okay, this is the kind of Chanel bag that I'm going to get. <laughs> me and Angela got expensive taste. So we like, we know we got to have money. Because I don't care if that bag costs 10 G's. When I'm affording and I can make the money, oh, Chanel going to happily get my my 10 stack. So, you know, we like, we just, you know, but you might not have necessarily been someone and that's just our personal taste and style. Everybody don't have to be like that, but you know, you might not have been a person who's kind of been in that space where it's like, okay, I'm going to show up like I'm going to a fashion show. That might not have always been you. You know, maybe you just kind of been, you know, so this may take you out of your comfort zone. This may show you another side and you might be like, hey, I've been missing out. And you, you know, listen, so you show up as America's next top model when you walking up out the house. This may do that for you. And so, yeah. yeah. You said something too, because I do believe I hear him saying building confidence. I hear him saying that it's going to work on your seven year on self esteem. I even hear him saying that someone out of these thirty days will have enough material to write a book. Amen. And so you need to show up, and when you show up on purpose, he's going to reveal some of you guys that's going to show up. You coaches, or you don't, you don't even understand that this can be your your next program that you have to offer. You just don't know what God is going to do until you show up. And I say do, but I mean reveal because everything he's going to do, he's already done it, but he's starting to reveal so much more to us as far as our purpose and where he's called us to. So uh, yeah, two days after two days, if you didn't show up in two days, you're out of there. The link has been um, changed. You can't not get in it. It's free. F-R-E-E -E, free. Um, February 1st to March 2nd. Bring your journal. Bring your mindset. You're going to get spiritual, mental, emotional growth, as well as building a community. And that's about it for us. So with that being said, I'm your girl, Angela. And this is Janaea. And we can't wait to see you on our 30-day self-care challenge.